Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all well. Um, I haven't been on this week. We've just been, I don't know where this week's gone. I don't know what's happening to time in my house at the moment. It's like being in a time warp. <laughs> the days are just going so fast. Um, but today I'm here with quite a few of the babies to um, do a theme Thursday. And this week's theme Thursday is bears. Hence bears. Or um, soft. Hence soft <laughs> in that kind of mood this morning um so first up this morning is violet and um who looks adorable in that headband she's sort of pinched that now i thought it was adorable on lydia but it looks even better on her because she's got that lovely round face hasn't she so um she is wearing this lovely lovely um soft below uh baby grow sleep suit whichever you want to call it, I don't mind, um, from, um, I got it from Children's Salon, and the make escapes me, but it's gorgeous, it's got an off-white background, with these lovely charcoal grey polka dots, and then you've got two little teddies there, look, I'm assuming that's a little boy, and a little girl, because she's got a bow, and there's a little diamante heart up there, and he's giving her a little cuddle, there you go, how sweet is that? And then with her, she's got the little bear that is adorable that came with her. I really like that little bear rattle. And then the little violet teddy that Tegan um, had that she gave me for her. I don't like to take the tag off. I want to take the tag off. And I don't want to take the tag off because it's got a name on it. <laughs> and then to go with the soft theme. Theme? Theme? <laughs> it's these new teeth. They're a nightmare. Um... I've got this lovely um, bunny and I was thinking of putting the um, booties that match it that um, my lovely friend Suzanne sent me with the Violet Mays box opening but they've got baby clothes on so I didn't put them on and that's a Dudu Air Campania Paris and he is lovely and I bought this when I was nesting for um, Lydia it's absolutely lovely so that goes with the soft and it is a sort of teddy isn't it because it's a soft toy uh, which I didn't think about, no pun intended, but that sort of fits in, doesn't it? <laughs> and um, they just look adorable. All the babies are ready this morning. There seems to be a lot of pink going on and pale blue, as you shall see, uh, which wasn't intentional, but it's just sort of happened. And we've got a few teddies scattered around that you'll see as well. So where is her little mate, you might be asking? So she should be up next. She is a little lady herself. And Lydia is wearing this really sweet, actually. Um, sorry if you can hear my tummy rumbling. I've been up for hours and I'm starting to think about getting some breakfast. <laughs> and she's wearing this absolutely adorable um, sleep suit from Next. Uh, side fastening again, which seems quite popular lately, doesn't it? And on the front it's got I Love My, which is printed in pink. And then Mummy is appliqued in this lovely um, floral fabric across the front. And it's got um, embroidered elephant. So I put her little dummy pacifier, which I've just realised is upside down and the elephant's upside down. I thought it didn't look right earlier on. There you go, it's the elephant's thrown me off. And then, where does the flap always come from? And then she's got this little crocheted teddy bear and the little knitted teddy bear hat that I got from um, Amazon. And um, I did buy two. I bought one to put away for Violet as well. And then I gave one away, the other set away, to a little girl who'd lost... Um, in fact, she's one of the nurse's granddaughters for Mike, Mike's nurses. And she'd lost her, her little reborn's um, bonnet, a little hat. So I gave the set to her, she only five. And I just thought, oh, that's okay, I'll buy another one. And ever since then, I haven't been able to find them. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sure there's some on Amazon somewhere and as soon as I find another one then I'm going to get another one for um, Violet so um, there you go so how's everyone doing I hope you're all okay thank you for all the lovely comments um, that I get for the videos um, I'm really starting to get back into it again and starting to look forward to doing them I even enjoyed the prep this morning ironing some tops and picking out the clothes and starting to get ready uh, for Theme Thursday and trying to fit in as many babies as possible without making the video too long. And uh, I quite enjoyed it. Um, sometimes I don't get to the um, 
comment straight away um, because to be honest with you <laughs> as you know I've been struggling with anemia lately and um, I just sleep an awful lot now if I sit down I drop off and if I'm not dropped off asleep then I'm trying to wander around doing things because I've got restless legs from the anemia so I've got this mixture thing going on at the moment still so um, I'm hoping to be better soon because I had my um, second iron infusion yesterday so I'm thinking oh a few more days because it takes two weeks to start working so I had one last week and one this week so I'm thinking by next week or yeah maybe the middle to end of next week I'll start to feel more you know on the ball and um, if the restless leg stops that would be really nice so I'm going to swap um, Lydia for oh I don't know somebody else <laughs> maybe one of the boys and here he is my little prince Tristan Tristan Michael and so you can hear my washing machine spinning I'm really hoping that the um, microphone isn't picking it up I did shut my bedroom door but I can still hear it I should have shut the kitchen door as well and he is wearing a grey hat that's part of a set from um, it's got a sleep suit goes with it from George Asda and then he's got this gorgeous um, quite retro really um, blue and cream and navy with faux wooden buttons cardi from um, nutmeg with teddy bears on I love this and then also underneath he's got a little t-shirt uh, white with little pale blue stripes embroidered teddy up there with a crown on look it says little prince in navy embroidered uh, writing and that's from nutmeg as well um, little socks I have no clue I think it might be Georgia Asda and then these grey tracky bottoms I've had for years and I think they might be George Asda originally it's either that or mother care no boots I think they might be boots actually so he's looking really sweet and uh, I forgot to put his comforter with him I always forget something don't I every time I was um, up early this morning because I was tired when I came back from the hospital yesterday um, it was my appointment was two o'clock I got there at 10 2 and I thought oh I won't be long now and it was 20 past 2 before they even weighed me and did the um, cannula and everything ready for my infusion and then I had the infusion done that takes a while obviously and then I had the they do a, a bag of fluid afterwards to um, give it like a flush through I had that and that seemed to take ages and they were so slow in there sorting everything out and I didn't get out till 10 past 4 and um, it just seemed to be hours and I was sat there and I had um, uh, ear phone in just one because I didn't you feel rude otherwise don't you if you feel shut off from everybody I was in a little ward on my own like a four chair like you have four bed ward but they have four chairs five chairs something like that spread around the edge and there was only me there for most of the time the last 15 minutes or something like that this uh, little old man came in bless him um, but they were really slow and the coffee was disgusting oh it was awful I was thinking, oh yeah, I could just do a nice cup of coffee now. And it was really yuck. I can't even describe the flavour. My poor daughter uh, was sat in the car park. She literally finished work at half past 12, came over to me for one o'clock, and then, um, actually she was a little bit later than that because of traffic, and then we left then for the hospital for my appointment at two. So she didn't stop. She was up at four in the morning, ready to get ready for work. So she had a long day yesterday, bless her. But uh, thankfully, I shouldn't have to go back in for about another three months. So that would be a bit of a rest. So uh, well done, Emma. Thank you for yesterday. And she said it was good, actually, Mum. Because I said, oh, I'm so sorry it's taken so long this week, you know, this time. And um, she said, OK, Mum. She said, it actually made me sit still for a while. And she said, I basically just um, had a browse around on my phone, phoned a few people and chatted, and just sort of made use of the time. She said, whereas if I was home, I'd be... Um, thinking, oh, this needs doing, that needs doing. So she said, actually, it was quite good for her. So that was a bit, uh, made me feel a bit better. Mm. How come my tummy? <laughs> I hope I can cut that bit out. Ooh, <laughs> I'm really starving now and I'm not a breakfast person. And it's only 10 to 9 in the morning. So uh, I don't know what that's all about. So look at me starting to pick him up already. So I'm going to change him now because I don't want to be too long with each baby. Otherwise, the video will be so long 
and uh, my analytics will be going oh look people are starting to watch and then they're like oh look they're right down there somewhere <laughs> so there you go so there's Tristan so here we have Ethan Michael and if you watched last week's uh, video or the last video I did I can't remember if it was theme Thursday or what it was I can't remember now um, he was wearing the same outfit but um, this week I've put a hat on him that I knitted because that's nice and soft and I went to change him and I thought he's in the perfect outfit Winnie the Pooh that's a classic bear so I didn't change him and he's got little bear ears on his hood so I thought that was perfect too and I thought Do you know what he looks so cute in this outfit and it's a bear as well so I'll just leave it on but does he look adorable I love that quizzical look he's got and uh, Every time I look at him, he's so Michael, my grandson, as a baby. That quizzical look and, you know, looking round at you. And um, he just always reminds me of him. It's absolutely precious. If I wanted, intentionally wanted a memory baby, he would be, um, this would be perfect for Michael. But it was never intended that way. I just liked the sculpt and I bought it. And um, it was after, it was a little while after I was looking at him. And there was always something about the way he looked, but I couldn't, didn't click what it was. And then one day I was doing a video and it suddenly dawned on me, especially with the outfit he had on at the time, um, that it reminded me of Michael. And uh, I said to Tegan at the time, he looks like Michael, doesn't he, as a baby? And I showed her a photo because obviously she can't remember because Michael's nine and she's ten. And uh, no, no, ten. She's eleven, nearly twelve. So she's too small to remember him as a baby. Uh, and uh, I showed her and she's like, yeah, nanny does. He really looks like him. So... Um, um, so that's why he's Ethan Michael and not Ethan Henry like he started off with. So that's that baby. And then next up will be Reuben James. And there he is, Reuben James. And it's surprising actually, I've had him uh, since October 2017. He's 19, <laughs> So it's four and a half years really, isn't it? Or four years, yeah, four years. And um, he, if you look down my videos to right at the bottom, the first thing I ever put up was a very um, amateurish, because it was my first try at anything like it, upload onto um, um, YouTube. I wanted, I, I'd intended that when he came I'd do a box opening, but I booked him to be delivered on the Friday and he turned up Thursday afternoon. So um, parcel force, reliable as always. And luckily enough, and I didn't, um, he was, on the Wednesday they said like, you know, to book, so I did, and I booked him for the Friday, and I really wanted him straight away the next day, because I'd waited for him to come through customs for three weeks, and then he was posted two weeks before that, so it seemed to take ages, well, it's five weeks, it's a long time to follow a package, isn't it? And then, um, um, I we had to go out on Thursday, because that used to be our shopping day, and so, and we had um, Izzy for the day, who is my other granddaughter. That's uh, there's three months between her and Tegan, um, and um, I so I booked it for Friday reluctantly, thinking, oh, I'm busy tomorrow, I'll I'll have it on Friday, and I'll get all all organised, and then it's, get set up for the video, and then once the um, box arrives, I do a box opening, my first ever box opening, because he is. Um... Oh, hang on, I got onto the phone. There we are, I'm back again now. Sorry about that, I had to answer the phone uh, because it was important and I couldn't leave it. Um, luckily enough, I saw the notification come up because my phone doesn't make any kind of noise if anybody phones or messages. So if I'm not looking at the phone, I don't see this, um, you know, the notification show. Uh, but I just managed to catch that one. So um, I've forgotten completely what I was saying about uh, Rubin, apart from the fact that I, uh, you know, to round it off, I had intended to do my first ever box opening, my first try at a video, and then instead of him coming on the Friday like he was supposed to, they turned up him Thursday afternoon, and we'd literally just got in from shopping for about half an hour. So, of course, I was really chuffed. I didn't mind that because I didn't miss him and got him a day earlier, but at the same time, I wasn't organised for the box opening, and uh, I loved it. It was amazing. It was a very basic box opening. No, uh, nothing in there really at all um, with the baby, uh, and you're very basic, but uh, I loved it because it was my first ever custom, and um, all the babies I'd had before that, for the 10 years before that that I'd been collecting, I'd made myself 
or else um i think i think emma made one that had um because she was making them for a while as well we're all just creative uh, all my kids are creative they all like making things um anything from sewing and crochet and knitting and cooking and oh, gardening and emma will do restoring furniture um all that kind of thing they'll all do all those kind of things and um, my eldest son likes to make jewelry and um, he's got an interest in all sorts of things with his 3d printer uh tom is really good at stuff they, they've all got a creative uh streak none of us are like um you know totally academic would work in an office type you know with a strict routine we, we were all more of a creative uh bent on our personalities so there you go, so there's Rubin. So I hope that little bit video made some sort of sense, um, but I doubt it. <laughs> all right, so that's, now we're gonna have, um, I got two of the girls next. I didn't bring all the toddlers in, because I didn't, um, I just got so many on the bed now with some teddies as well. There's just no room for any more. But um, next we'll do the um, uh, Ava's on, and also I've brought Seren on today, because we haven't seen her for a while. So I'll just get them organised and I should be back. Silly me, I nearly forgot Narnia. <laughs> oh bless her. <coughs> I went to um, get organised to the babies and then realised, you know, the toddlers, and then realised that Narnia was still there waiting for her turn. And, <laughs> oh bless her. Oh, sorry Narnia. So she's wearing, um, let's move your bottle. This little shrug, or bolero, or a crop card, whatever description you want to call it. That I've had for a long, long time. It, it was actually from my shop when I used to have my shop. Um, and then she's wearing this absolutely lovely um, Winnie the Pooh classic bear, isn't it? Um, romper that um, was a gift from my friend um, Chris at Chris's Cuddles. And Chris is trying to build up to 500 subscribers at the moment. So if you've not subscribed, please pop along. I'll try and remember to put a link in my description box. Um, and um you know so you can uh, pop along to a channel and if you're not subscribed um you if you like her videos please subscribe and help her reach her 500 which is her target and she's getting there she's doing really well at the moment um but it'd be nice to see her uh, get to 500 and um, i'm really hoping you get there soon chris lovely lady and uh, lovely to listen to her so funny the things she comes out with so there's narnia very quickly my uh, little baby Marilyn Monroe, that's what I always think she looks like with the little earrings and things. You can just see Ava's feet up in the corner, look. Just sort of up there. <laughs> so next up will definitely this time be Seren and Ava. And there they are. I try to um, see if it'll stay still. It keeps moving all the time. So there they are with a whole host of teddies. They've got Wilf in the middle. And then behind them, we've got, um, isn't it funny how you have things have all got memories attached to them? Um, the little one on Seren's lap, that's Seren on the right. Um, she's the Ariana um, toddler sculpt by Reva Schick. And then uh, Ava is the Angelica sculpt by Reva Schick. And Ava is an older version of, of um, Seren. Uh, Seren was my late mum's. And... Uh, I've got her now, <laughs> she's all mine. And then on Ava's lap is um, a little teddy bear that used to smell of chocolate that Mike bought for me. In the middle is Wilf that I had for Christmas of three of my children. And then uh, behind him, the teddy bear with the um, red coat on is a Christmas bear from Harrods that Mike got me a long time ago. And then the big, bigger brown bear at the back is another one that Mike got me. And the little one on his lap is one that I got from uh, my granddaughter, is his school fate. And he, I liked him because he's only little, but he's all jointed. And I thought he was lovely. And for Theme Thursday, Ava is wearing a panda um, top. And um, you can't see the writing there with the bear, but underneath the face it says, I'm, I'm, uh, take care, I'm rare. Um, because pandas are getting rare and then Seren has on a lovely soft uh, pale pink velour dress uh, from George, no not George, from Matalan and um, little pink socks and Ava's leggings are from Next don't they look adorable? there's a lot of pink and blue going on today isn't there with little breaks with other colours 
So that's that. And then I thought now to go out, I might put all the babies together if I can get them up there. So we'll see. Mm. <laughs> I tried to get them all in. It's so difficult. Narnia is behind Seren. And there's just no room on the bed for all of them so you can see them. So, uh, but there you go. That's, um, you can see my face cream, not my face cream, my uh, lotion and water by the bed there. Uh, but there you go. There's, um, <laughs> take them out. Uh, there's all the babies for Theme Thursday. Bless them. I did think that I might bring in the other two toddlers, Ab Abby, son and Jamie. Jameson and Abby. And then um, uh, Scarlett and Chase, which is Tegan's baby, a little toddler. And I and I thought, I had all these best of intentions, but, or oh, I might stay now, but I can't get them all on the bed. <laughs> Oh my goodness, there's just no room. So there you go. So uh, I hope you enjoyed watching Theme Thursday this week from us. So from everyone at Moonbutton, <laughs> the whole clan nearly, um, have a lovely weekend. Just in case we're not back. Should be back on the weekend, but just in case. Um, if the weekend, if the week carries on like it started, it's going to be so busy and fly so fast. And I might not have time, but I'm hoping to. So uh, take care, everyone. Look after yourselves and each other. Bye for now. Lots of love. Bye. Bye.